Hello there people, this video is about learning activity 3 and this activity is for students working on the merit and distinction grades only. If you are working on pass, you don't need to answer this question. Okay, so you can move on to learning activity 4 from here. But I want to focus on copyright, guys. Um, we all are used to it. Okay, we go on the internet, we find things and we use it. Okay, we live in a society where the internet is quite powerful you know we use it for our everyday lives we use it for our homework our parents use it for their banking people use it even for cooking getting recipes a whole lot of things you know so when we talk about copyright what are we talking about I've given you some links on the website to help you explain copyright so I'm not gonna go too much into it because I want you to to explain it yourself but to give you a clue copyright is all about rights legal rights to use something that somebody else owns or somebody else has created you know so if I create something and I put it on the internet who owns it and if I put something on the internet does it necessarily mean that you can take it whenever you want and use it you know copyright is supposed to protect creators or people who put things out there or create things from other people just taking them and using them that is what copyright is about just to illustrate this I'm going to go to and Google and type in Disneyland and get some information back okay this is Disneyland I have all these people have written things about Disneyland obviously someone created all these web pages and someone had to take all these pictures and put them there okay so all this stuff is there and let's say I want to create um, a leaflet about Disneyland that I want to use to promote something for myself okay can I just go online and take all of these things that other people have put there and just use it okay we're talking predominantly we're talking about images all right there are images here that I could use if I click on news well if I click on the web there are web pages I can use if I click on news guys there are news articles about Disneyland that I could take but the question is can I just take these things do they belong to someone else in real life if someone has somewhat something in their in their houses or in their front rooms can I just walk in there and take it just because it's in clear display by the window if someone is in their house and they've left a newspaper by the window so I can see it can I just walk up to this window if it's open and simply reach in and take this newspaper because it's there isn't that stealing okay that is what you should think about when you think about copyright now in Google and other search engines there are ways around getting these things and using them without having to worry about breaching copyright because guys I assure you if you take someone else's work and you use it for profit okay you use it to make money outside in the real world you are breaking the law if I take someone else's song okay and I use it to promote a product and I don't pay that person any money or any royalties for using it I'm breaking the law if I take someone's music and download it off the internet and put it on my mp3 player and play it am I breaking the law yes you are because someone else created that and you need to pay that person some sort of recompense for using their product it's only fair isn't it now in a search engine such as Google there are tools to help you get around some of these things now if you go into the search options and you choose advanced search okay you can scroll down so you can find information about Disneyland and you can go to usage rights and you can use free to use or share or modify or even commercially meaning you can use it commercially without having to worry about getting into trouble you can take some of these stuff and use it without getting into trouble the thing about I need to make clear is that in schools as teachers and in schools we are allowed to use some of these things without worrying because it's for education but I'm talking about the other side of things if you're in the real world and you want to use something commercially to make money or profit or for a business so I'll click on free to use share or modify and click on advanced search and I will get some results back now these results may not be as much or may not be contain as much information or as many pictures as the original search which gave me everything but the truth is every result I've got here I can somehow copy and use so for instance let's say this one about Space Mountain Disneyland it says Wikipedia let's go in there there's an image here that I could use there are some things written here that I could quote okay if I scroll down there is some information here 
that I can use okay and it says here um, lots of things that I could use without having to worry about breaching copyright okay and that is what I want you to think of when you're talking about copyright on the internet and downloading information okay and that is what I needed to think of now please go and do it thank you